Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFI Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to deal with problem while you are going to export camera tray from Nuke to Blender if you are getting problem like this here. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside Nuke here and this is a sort here. And just type track this sort using this camera track node here. So this is our camera track here. Then after this, just type created this scene group from our this camera track node here. So simply just you can select this scene node and just you can create this scene group. So now just type created over this scene group and this is our camera solve here. And also just type define over this ground pane here. So simply you can double click here on this camera tracker node. And just you have to select some points on over this table then right click and ground plane and just set to selected. And also just type define over scene origin here. So now just we are going to see how to export this camera track from Nick to Blender. So simply press tab and just take a right geo node. And just we have to connect with this scene node. Then we have to double click and just we have to connect viewer with this right node. Then simply we can double click here. Then in this file just we have to select folder where we want to save this camera export. So insert this export folder and just give a name. Just new cam then dot abc. So this extensor also just we have to type because just we are going to export this camera track in lambic format. Now just we have to click on open. Then you will see this file type ABC. This will automatically take here. Then bottom side, just we have to check this camera and points. Just uncheck this geometry here. So uncheck this axis because there is actually no axis here. So just only just I'm going to export this camera and point clouds here. Now in this storage format, just we have to select this Ogawa. This is again important things here. Now just we have to click on this execute. Then you have to select your range. Now we have to press OK. So now here just type export this camera track for Blender. Now come inside Blender. Now we are inside Blender and just I'm using this current version of Blender. Simply just uh, we have to delete all the default items here. Now press A and you delete. Then we have to click on File. Then we have to click on Import and just select this lmbic.abc format here. Then you have to select your file which just you have exported from Nuke. So inside the export folder, this is our file which just I have exported from Nuke. So just we have to select this uh, .abc file. Now just import on default value first. So just we have to click on import alembic. So now just type import over this camera tag inside Blender and just I am getting this result here. So now here if you will see just I am getting this big diamond here. So this is our actually point cloud group. So simply if you want you can delete this one. Otherwise just open this one. Then open this point group. Remember this one. So you will see this object group here. Now if you will hide this one. So this will not show you here. So just you can see this one. Even if you want, you can just delete this one here. So simply as you can delete. Now just click on this camera. So just I'm getting this camera here. Okay. So like this simply as you can delete this point. But actually just uh, while you will delete this point group or uh, if you will hide this point group. So just I'm not getting any points or locator here. So for this what we can do. So now again just come inside Nuke. Now for this just I'm going to define our some important access where suppose you want to test your object or place your object. So just you can create multiple access according to your requirement. Then you can import inside Blender. So now just, just I'm going to create some access just only for explanation. Then you can select this one right click then create access. So remember this one just I've selected this camera tracker node and press one then we have to double click on this camera tracker node here. So first access just I created then just create another one. Now after this just we have to connect all these axes with our this scene node. Now again just we have to double click on this right node. Then just open this one and just give a file name maybe 2 version 2 here. Now just we have to click on open. Now just we have to check this access here because now also just I want to export these access. Now again just we have to click on this execute. Okay and just execute this. Now again come inside blender. So now again just create a new project, press A and you delete all these items, again click on file, import, again select this alembic format and just select your file. So this is our new version, now we have to click on import alembic. Now again you will get this diamond here, so simply that you can delete this 
this one here so just select and delete this one here so now just i am getting this camera track here and also these access here now just i am going to create just a test object so now if we we'll create this test object so now this is very big here because actually our scene is very small so for this what we can do again just create a new project then press a and delete all these items then click on file import again select lmb format export this is our new file now just i am going to define the scene scale so maybe just type it here 10 now just we have to click on import lmb so here just type import it now still just i am getting the diamond so remember this one this is actually point cloud group it's not showing point clouds here so just we have to delete this one here so now again just select this camera so now just i am getting same things here then after this just i am going to link our image plane or background plate here so just we have to open this camera group just we have to select this camera then click here this camera then background image then we have to select our background plate so this is our image sequence so just we have to select all frames now just we have to click on open clip so now here just type imported the background plate now just adjust the transparency or opacity here so this is our actually background plate opacity now just i'm getting little bit this big access here so for this what we can do so just open this access folder this one here and just we can select individual access and just we can adjust this size as you can see this one so just we can select so now just you can see and also just i am getting these actually some dotted lines here so for this just simply just we can click here and just we can hide these relationship lines here now just i am getting these things here so just simply just we can play and just we can test over this result here now just we can play and just check so now here just you can see so properly just i imported over this camera track inside blender and also just i'm getting some these access here so easily just we can place any object on top of this table here so for this just i'm going to just create a test object again so just click on add mesh and just create this cube now just you can see this cube here again just go to the side view select this cube press tab then press g z hold control and just place it here now again press tab and just come inside this camera view so easily just we can scale this cube now select this cube press s so here just we can scale this one here now just we can play and just check so now just you can see now just you can see this camera tracking here now this is looking good here even now suppose you want to use this axis then simply you can select any axis like this one here then right click snap then cursor to selection then after this simply just select this cube then right click snap then selection to cursor now like the chat you can move this cube again just we have to check through this side view so this is just on over this grid here and just we have to check through this camera now just we can play and just we can check so like this you can also use access according to a requirement here so many access you can create according to a requirement inside nuke then you can export for blender so guys like this as you can solve your problem so guys if you like this video Please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.